Right now, you might be trying to work in a few more days of fun at your family's pool before the heat goes away and school starts up. Some Central Texas homeowners tell us, though, they wish they had the same option, but their pool builder took their money and never finished their projects. They reached out to KXAN investigator Brittany Glass, hoping to warn other families before they sign a contract. A place to beat the heat was a big selling point when Missy and James Pemberton bought their Round Rock home last year. The pool was outdated, but... but it was functional for our family and it did its job. And everybody had a good time. Such a good time, they decided to remodel. A year later, this is what's become of their backyard paradise. So we had great memories last year when we used it. And then, unfortunately, we had to meet Richard. Robert Richard Leaf, the man behind Broadway Pools. I, I just think back to the day we had him out here and how nice he was and how he was a go-getter. They paid Leaf $3,200 as an initial deposit. But soon after, the couple says the work stopped for months. We were trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. Once April hit and we knew that they weren't coming back, we knew that that was just not going to happen. Leaf declined an on-camera interview. But in emails he sent to KXAN, Leaf says certain customers have been closed minded and overreacted, that they would not even listen to alternatives and jumped to conclusions. He adds, I do not care what these people say. The total amount in dispute could not buy a good used car. $45,000. $43,000. $3,500. Who here? has had a pool completed by Broadway Pools. We discovered at least nine families across Central Texas hired Leaf, but never got their finished pools. They signed their contracts, agreeing to pay in increments. After crews completed each segment of the job, everything from excavation to plaster, customers were supposed to pay for that portion. Leaf tells KXAN that's exactly what happened and that he owes these people nothing. But customers say Leaf didn't stick to the payment schedule and started making demands. We were asked for more money and we refused to pay it. Then they say Leaf refused to finish the work. We paid him $41,000 and the only thing that he got right was to dig the hole. We discovered similar stories in a string of Central Texas lawsuits against Leaf and his company dating back several years. <laughs> Like this one, where Leander homeowners sued Broadway Pools in 2013 and got a judgment in their favor of nearly $150,000. No matter what I did, it wasn't enough. Last year, a Bear County judge ruled in Janie Duggar's favor, too, with a judgment of more than $3,000. But she never got that money. Sent a constable out to make a collection, told the constable he didn't have the money to pay it, didn't have resources. Um, and the constable told us nothing he could do about it. I'm out of business. On the phone, Leaf told KXAN his company is broke. His storefront has shut down, and both state and court records show Broadway Pools is no longer a registered entity. But Leaf also told us before he closes completely, he's finishing some projects for open minded customers. Central Texas building permits back that up at properties like this one, still under construction in Leander. Why is he able to keep doing that? I would just, at the very least, like to see him put out a business. I can always make more money. Um, I can't make up the memories we've lost with our kids. On the phone, when asking about how big this story was getting, Richard Leaf told us he would disappear. We tried to track him down and have yet to see him working at any current project locations. With those particular projects, he tells us customers have had positive experiences, but he didn't want us speaking with them. None have returned our messages. Earlier on KXAN News at 6, we told you how some of his past customers, like this one, have had to spend even more money to have another contractor finish the work Leaf left behind. Several homeowners we spoke with have filed complaints with the Attorney General's office, but at this point it is unclear if the AG will get involved. Those homeowners also tell us they might file their own lawsuit as well. We will, of course, follow up on that.
Brittany, thanks so much. We check with the Better Business Bureau about how to go a step beyond signing a contract to protect yourself in situations like these. And the BBB says a surety bond may be your best bet, and some cities and contractor types require it. Essentially, it's a three-party contract. One party, the surety, which is often an insurance company, promises to help get money or finish work for another party. The obligee, in this case, the pool owner, if the third third party, the principal, which in this case is the pool contractor, if the terms of the contract are violated. One of the most common is a performance surety bond, which is like a financial safety net, and it can result in the insurance company and the pool owner finding a way to complete the work, possibly with another contractor. We have more about how to get a surety bond and tips on selecting a contractor, plus how to file a complaint right now in this story on the homepage of KXAN.com. And remember, this story started with a viewer reaching out. If you have something we should investigate, email us at reporting at KXAN.com.